What makes a pickup truck engine truly awful? Is it a lack of power or persistent reliability issues? Some engines like the Chevrolet 305 V8, known for its weak combustion and oil leaks, and the Chrysler 2.7 liter V6, infamous for oil sludge problems that could lead to catastrophic engine failure, turn driving into a nightmare. Join us as we explore the 20 worst pickup truck engines ever put into production vehicles. Number 20. 1976 Chevrolet 305 V8 The Chevrolet 305 V8 was made from 1976 to 1992 and became known for its poor performance and reliability problems. Many people criticized this engine for its low power, which came from its small bore size of 3.736 inches. This limited airflow and resulted in weak combustion, leading to less horsepower. The 305 V8 also had a tendency to develop oil leaks, especially from the intake manifold and head gaskets. These leaks could cause serious engine damage if not fixed quickly. This engine appeared in various Chevrolet models, such as the Camaro, Caprice, and CK pickup trucks. Its design flaws, including the use of flat tappet camshafts, added to its poor performance and durability. These camshafts were less reliable and caused more friction between moving parts, leading to quicker wear. Despite being used in many vehicles, the 305 V8 was discontinued in 1992 and replaced by the more efficient LT1 engine. Number 19, 1988 GM 3.1 liter V6. The GM 3.1 liter V6 engine was produced from 1988 to 2004 and was widely used in vehicles such as the Chevrolet Lumina, Pontiac Grand Prix, and Buick Regal. Despite its popularity, this engine had several major problems. One of the most serious issues was the failure of the intake manifold gasket, which led to coolant leaking into the engine. If these leaks were not fixed quickly, they could cause severe damage. The coolant would mix with the engine oil, resulting in poor lubrication and risking engine failure. Additionally, the engine blocks made between 1988 and 1990 were known to develop cracks near the center cylinders. These problems made the 3.1 liter V6 unreliable and potentially dangerous, as sudden engine failure could happen while driving. The engine continued to be made until 2004, when it was replaced by more dependable options. The 3.1 liter V6 serves as a reminder of the need for solid engineering and regular maintenance to avoid such widespread issues. Number 18, 1990 Chevrolet 2.2 liter I4. The Chevrolet 2.2 liter inline four engine was produced from 1990 to 2003 and was commonly used in the Chevrolet S10. This engine was known for being underpowered, generating only about 120 horsepower, which wasn't enough for a pickup truck. One significant problem with this engine was its tendency to experience head gasket failures. These failures led to coolant leaking into the engine, which caused overheating and possible engine damage. The engine design included a timing chain tensioner that was prone to failure, resulting in timing chain problems and additional engine issues. The head gasket failures created serious problems because they could cause the engine to overheat, warp the cylinder head, and lead to expensive repairs. Furthermore, the engine's lack of power made it less suitable for heavy-duty tasks, which was a major drawback for a pickup truck. Despite these challenges, Production continued until 2003, when the engine was replaced by the more reliable Ecotec series. Number 17, 1998 Chrysler 2.7 liter V6. The Chrysler 2.7 liter V6 engine was made from 1998 to 2010 and was used in vehicles such as the Chrysler Sebring and Dodge Stratus. This engine became well known for having serious problems with oil sludge buildup the sludge could clog oil passages, which led to poor lubrication and eventually caused engine failure. The main issue stemmed from the engine's water pump, which was operated by the timing chain. If the water pump failed, it could leak coolant into the oil, leading to contamination and sludge problems. This issue was made worse by the engine's small oil capacity, increasing the risk of sludge buildup. The accumulation of sludge could result in oil starvation, which causes vital engine parts to wear out too quickly and could lead to serious engine failure while driving. Despite these major problems, the engine continued to be produced until 2010, when it was replaced by more dependable options. 
Number 16, 1981 Cadillac 864 L62. The Cadillac 864 L62 engine, introduced in 1981, appeared in several Cadillac models, including the DeVille, Fleetwood, and Eldorado. This engine had a groundbreaking feature. It could turn off two or four of its engine cylinders to save fuel. Unfortunately, the technology was too advanced for its time and faced many issues. The main problem was the unreliable electronics that managed the cylinder deactivation. The system struggled to switch smoothly between modes, leading to rough idling, stalling, and poor performance. Furthermore, the engine's complicated design made repairs difficult and costly. These problems frustrated owners and created potential safety risks, such as sudden power loss while driving. Due to these serious issues, the Cadillac 864L62 engine was quickly discontinued after just one year on the market. Cadillac returned to more traditional engines and the 864 technology was set aside until better electronic controls were developed in later years. Number 15, 1978 Oldsmobile 5.7 liter diesel. The Oldsmobile 5.7 liter diesel engine made from 1978 to 1985, was used in various General Motors vehicles, such as the Oldsmobile Cutlass, Delta 88, and Chevrolet Monte Carlo. This engine was created to meet new fuel economy standards, but quickly gained a bad reputation due to its many problems. It was mainly a modified gasoline engine, which caused significant reliability issues. Drivers experienced problems such as blown head gaskets, cracked blocks, and frequent stalling. The design flaws led to overheating and poor performance, especially when carrying heavy loads. The situation worsened because of the low-quality diesel fuel available at that time, which frequently contained water and other harmful substances. These issues not only frustrated owners, but also created safety risks, such as sudden engine failures while driving. Despite several redesigns, the engine's reputation suffered greatly leading to its removal from production in 1985. Number 14, 1980 Pontiac 265 V8. The Pontiac 265 V8 engine was made from 1980 to 1981 and was used in models such as the Pontiac Firebird and Bonneville. This engine was part of General Motors' attempt to meet new fuel economy standards, but it disappointed many. The main problem with the Pontiac 265 V8 was its weak performance. It produced only around 120 horsepower, which was not enough for the vehicles it powered. This lack of performance made the car slow and unresponsive, frustrating drivers who wanted better performance. The engine also had issues with quality and reliability. It was prone to overheating and faced frequent mechanical failures. These problems shortened the engine's lifespan and created safety risks such as stalling or failing while driving. Because of these major issues, the Pontiac 265 V8 was discontinued quickly after just two years. General Motors replaced it with more reliable and powerful engines, and the 265 V8 faded into obscurity in Pontiac's history. Number 13, 1975 Oldsmobile 260. The Oldsmobile 260 V8 engine was produced from 1975 to 1982 and was used in several models, including the Oldsmobile Cutlass and Omega. This engine was created to comply with new fuel economy standards, but it quickly gained a reputation for poor performance and reliability issues. The main problem with the Oldsmobile 260 was its lack of power, generating only around 105 horsepower, which was not enough for the vehicles it powered. This made the cars sluggish and unresponsive, frustrating drivers who expected better performance. Additionally, the engine suffered from low build quality and frequent mechanical failures. It was prone to overheating, and there were issues with oil leaks and inadequate lubrication. These problems not only shortened the engine's lifespan, but also created safety risks, such as the engine stalling or failing while driving, which could be dangerous for those on the road. Number 12. 1976 Chrysler Lean Burn V8s. The Chrysler Lean Burn V8 engines were introduced between 1976 and 1979 and were found in various Chrysler models, including the Dodge Charger, Chrysler Cordoba, and Plymouth Fury. 
These engines had an early computerized spark advanced control system aimed at improving fuel efficiency and reducing emissions by optimizing the air-fuel mixture. Unfortunately, the lean burn system faced major issues. The main problem was its lack of reliability due to the outdated electronic components at that time. The system's computer, located on the air cleaner, was very sensitive to heat and vibration, leading to frequent breakdowns. Additionally, the complicated network of vacuum hoses needed careful maintenance, which many mechanics struggled with. These challenges resulted in poor engine performance, stalling, and difficulties in starting the vehicle. These problems made the lean burn V8 engines potentially dangerous as sudden engine failures could happen while driving. Number 11, 1980 Ford 255 Windsor. The Ford 255 Windsor was made from 1980 to 1982 and was found in the Ford Mustang, Thunderbird, and Mercury Cougar. This engine was a smaller version of the 302 Windsor, created to meet stricter fuel economy rules after the 1979 oil crisis. Unfortunately, it had many problems that caused it to be considered one of the worst engines ever used in production vehicles. The 255 Windsor produced only 119 horsepower, making it the weakest V8 engine ever in a Mustang. Its performance was significantly lacking, leading to slow acceleration and a poor driving experience. The engine's design included a unique intake manifold that was prone to leaks and hard to service. Additionally, the engine's smaller bore size meant it could not fit larger valves, which limited its ability to be upgraded for better performance. Number 10. 1998 Dodge 2.7-liter V6 The Dodge 2.7-liter V6 engine introduced in 1998 was known for its many problems. It was used in models such as the Chrysler Concorde, Dodge Intrepid, and Dodge Stratus. Initially, it received praise for its advanced design, which included dual overhead cams and 24 valves. Unfortunately, it quickly earned a negative reputation because of serious oil sludge buildup. This sludge could block oil passages, resulting in poor lubrication and potentially causing severe engine failure. The engine's water pump also had issues since it was connected to the timing chain. If the pump failed, it could lead to the timing chain slipping, causing engine damage. Another major problem was that the engine would overheat, which could warp the aluminum heads and lead to head gasket failures. These issues made the 2.7-liter V6 unreliable and potentially dangerous as sudden engine failure could happen while driving. Despite these challenges, the engine remained in production until 2010 when it was replaced with more dependable options. Number 9. 1932 Ford Flathead V8 The Ford Flathead V8 engine, which was introduced in 1932, appeared in several Ford models, including the Model 1812. This engine changed the game because it was the first affordable V8, making powerful engines available to many people. Unfortunately, it had several problems that made it difficult to use. The main issue with a Ford Flathead V8 was that it tended to overheat. The engine design placed the valves next to the pistons, which led to poor cooling and frequent overheating. In addition, the engine experienced oil leaks and had inadequate lubrication, causing it to wear out quickly. These problems were made worse by the engine's low compression ratio, which resulted in less power and efficiency. These issues frustrated many drivers and created safety risks, such as the possibility of engine failure while driving. Despite these drawbacks, the Ford Flathead V8 remained in production until 1953 because it was affordable and easy to maintain. Number 8. 1987 GM 2.4 Liter Quad 4 The GM 2.4 Liter Quad 4 engine was made from 1987 to 2002 and was used in various models, including the Oldsmobile Cutlass Callus, Pontiac Grand Am, and Chevrolet Cavalier. This engine received praise for its modern design, which included a dual overhead camshaft and four valves per cylinder, promising better performance and efficiency. Unfortunately, the Quad 4 faced serious problems. It became known for its noise, vibration, and harshness, leading to an unpleasant driving experience. The engine's design caused frequent head gasket failures, resulting in overheating and significant engine damage. Additionally, 
The timing chain, designed to be more durable than a belt, experienced premature failures. These issues made the engine unreliable and potentially dangerous, as sudden breakdowns could happen while driving. Despite attempts to improve it, the Quad 4 could not shake off its flaws, and by 2002, it was replaced by the more dependable Ecotec engine. Number 7. 1995 Chrysler 2-liter SOHC The Chrysler 2-liter single overhead cam engine produced from 1995 to 2005 was used in the Dodge Neon, Plymouth Neon, and Dodge Stratus. This engine aimed to be a reliable and economical choice for compact cars, but it faced several significant problems. One of the major issues was that the engine tended to develop oil leaks, especially from the head gasket. This could lead to overheating and severe engine damage if it was not fixed quickly. In addition, the timing belt tensioner was known for wearing out prematurely, which could cause the timing belt to fail. Since the engine had an interference design, a timing belt failure usually resulted in serious engine damage, including bent valves and damaged pistons. The engine also produced excessive noise and vibrations, making the driving experience uncomfortable. Number 6. 1982 Ford 3.8-liter V6 The Ford 3.8-liter V6 engine was made from 1982 to 2001 and was used in the Ford Mustang, Thunderbird, and Taurus. This engine aimed to balance power and fuel efficiency, but it had many significant problems. One of the main issues was the engine's tendency to have hen gasket failures, leading to coolant leaks that could make the engine overheat and suffer serious damage. The head gasket problem was so common that it resulted in many recalls and warranty claims. The engine also produced a lot of noise and vibrations, making driving uncomfortable. Additionally, the timing cover gasket was likely to leak, which added to the engine's lack of reliability. Number 5. 1995 Chrysler 2.0 liter SOHC The Chrysler 2.0 liter single overhead cam engine, produced from 1995 to 2005, was mainly used in the Dodge and Plymouth Neon. This engine had a reputation for several serious problems. One significant issue was the timing belt, which could break if not replaced on time, causing major damage to the engine. Because the 2.0 liter single overhead cam was an interference engine, a broken timing belt could result in the pistons hitting the valves, bending them or damaging the pistons. The engine also experienced frequent head gasket failures, which led to oil leaks and possible overheating. These issues made the engine unreliable and expensive to repair. Due to its poor design and ongoing failures, Chrysler eventually discontinued this engine. Despite attempts to fix some problems, the engine's reputation remained damaged, and it was replaced by more dependable and efficient designs by 2005. Number 4. 1997 Ford 5.4-liter Triton V8 The Ford 5.4-liter Triton V8 engine was produced from 1997 to 2010 and used in several Ford vehicles, including the F-150, Expedition, and Lincoln Navigator. This engine had many problems, making it one of the least reliable pickup truck engines. One major issue was the spark plug design. Early models from 1997 to 2003 had only four threads holding the spark plugs, which caused them to frequently blow out. Later models from 2004 and onward faced a different problem where the spark plugs broke during removal due to carbon buildup. Additionally, the engine experienced timing chain tensioner failures, resulting in rattling noises and possible engine damage. These issues made the engine expensive to maintain and could lead to dangerous situations, such as engine fires or sudden power loss. By 2010, Ford stopped using the 5.4-liter Triton V8 and moved to more reliable engines. Number 3. 1997 Ford 4.2-liter V8 The Ford 4.2-liter V8 engine was made from 1997 to 2008 and was mainly used in the Ford F-150. This engine had many problems and made it unreliable. One major issue was head gasket failure, which led to coolant leaking into the engine. This situation could cause hydrolock, where the cylinders filled with coolant, preventing the engine from starting and potentially causing severe damage. Another common problem was the timing cover gasket failing, which resulted in oil leaks and engine overheating. The oil pump also had issues, 
leading to low oil pressure and engine knocking. These problems made the engine likely to break down and needed costly repairs. The head gasket failure was especially dangerous because it could cause sudden engine failure while driving. Despite efforts to fix these issues, the engine's reputation declined and production ended in 2008. Number 2. 1977 Pontiac 2.5 liter Iron Duke The Pontiac 2.5 liter Iron Duke engine was made from 1977 to 1993 and was used in many GM vehicles, including the Pontiac Astrip, Phoenix, Sunbird, Chevrolet Monza, and AMC Jeep. This engine was known for being tough, but it had several serious problems. One main issue was its tendency to overheat, which could cause serious engine damage. The Iron Duke also lacked power, making it not suitable for heavier vehicles such as the Chevrolet Camaro and Pontiac Firebird. Early versions had a design flaw in the cylinder head that caused it to crack. The timing gear was another weak point, where a tooth would chip around 80,000 miles, leading to timing problems. These issues made the engine unreliable and expensive to maintain. Due to these problems, GM stopped making the Iron Duke in 1993 and replaced it with better engine designs. At a number one, the 1986 Ford 2.9 liter V6. The Ford 2.9 liter V6 engine was used in the Ford Ranger and Bronco 2 from 1986 to 1990. This engine was known for its reliability problems, especially the tendency for its cylinder heads to crack. These cracks were usually caused by overheating, which happened due to the engine's poor cooling system design. When the heads cracked, it could lead to coolant mixing with the oil, resulting in severe engine damage and possible failure. Another major issue was low oil pressure at the top of the engine, which caused the lifters to make a ticking sound and could lead to early wear. This issue was dangerous because it could cause sudden engine failure while driving, putting the driver and others at risk. Despite attempts to redesign the cylinder heads in 1989, the engine never regained its reputation and was eventually replaced by the more reliable 4.0 liter V6. The engines on our list highlight some of the biggest mistakes in automotive history. Which engine did you think was the worst? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more automotive content.